And uh, with the cold weather creeping in, we are starting to crave those cozy, comforting meals that warm us from the inside out. And hot pots have been doing that for over a thousand years. Yeah, more than just a delicious dish, it's a fun and communal eating experience. Here to teach us all about it with some of her favorite flavors is Chef Eva Chin. Welcome back to the show, Eva. Good to have you. Hi, everyone. Thanks for having me again. And Chef Eva, before we get to the delicious food, I understand that Kay the Sheep, who was just here, isn't the only one that's going to be at the Royal Agricultural Winter Fair. That's right. I'm going to be there this Saturday at 7 p.m. at the Culinary Academy stage. Catch me there and come make chicken bows with me. Ooh! Oh, that was delicious. I love that. Today, it's going to be hot pots, as we said off of the top. So for anybody who's not familiar, what is hot pots? So hot pot is more than a dish. It's an experience. It's a communal pot of simmering broth where we take raw ingredients and then we cook it in the broth and we eat it with sauce, which is the second part of hot pot. But in general, it is an experience for Chinese food. Okay, okay. and what is the history of this meal? It dates more than a thousand years back, but one of the first recorded experiences of hot pot was Mongolian warriors. Um, when they take a pit stop, they would use their helmets, their metal helmets over fire, no and way. they would simmer chunks of meat. I'm not sure it's sanitary, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're gonna walk us through how all of this comes together, starting with the tools. So what yes. are the tools of the trade for a hot pot? So we start with burners. Burners is the first aspect of hot pot. Here you see butane burners. Mm -hmm. It's great, that's portable, it's got a lot of heat, but if you wanna start beginner, slow, more easier to control, I would use induction, which is plug-in. The second is pot. As you can see, this is a clay pot, also known as nabe for Japanese-style hot pots, and then this is a duo yin-yang-style hot pot, a double pot, where you can enjoy two different broths at the same Ooh, time. Wow, love and that. Love. And there and are then, different tools involved yeah. as well. And the third part is your utensils. So okay. I have a ladle without mm -hmm. holes for broth, mm -hmm. and then a ladle with holes for scooping, and then this is a long chopstick. Usually one designated person in the group cooks with it. This ladle has a hook on it. I know, you can actually hook this and let it rest without burning your hands. Oh, Very yes. cool. Right? Smart. And Smart. then, as you mentioned, there are different types of hot pots, right? Yes. But I've noticed ones that are deeper and taller. Yes, the Ooh. deeper and taller ones, um, those are more for lamb broth. This one is more Hong Kong style, what I grew up with, and it's a yin yang style hot pot. Uh, so you, br yeah, so what did you bring today? What so pots did you bring? Today I brought a duo yin yang hot pot, mm -hmm. a sukiyaki clay pot hot pot. Awesome. Ooh. The sukiyaki is a Japanese broth that's uh, sweet, made with sake, uh, sugar, daikon. This has got mala, which is spicy hot pot, and then this is a mushroom vegetarian broth. Okay, Ooh. so once you have the, bro yes. the broth boiling, what raw ingredients do you add? So as you see, there's a wide array here. We mm -hmm. start with vegetables in the beginning, then we move on to seafood, meats, and at the very, very end, mm -hmm. when you want to enjoy the broth, then we have it with noodles. Okay, I mean, you, know, you, you, drink the, you drink the broth, you eat it with the noodles. Not everyone does it, but that's something I prefer. Okay, okay because TV is TV. You've pre-cooked some of the things for us um, because a lot of these are raw ingredients yeah. to begin with, mm -hmm. and they do take some time to prepare. So let's start with the whole process. So how do we begin? So as you can see, you have here all the food that I've cooked. Mm -hmm. Yep. And yep. then this is your dipping sauce, which I've made for you. Mm -hmm. So sauce is a big, it's a big part mm -hmm. of the uh, hot pot. Usually in restaurants, there's like a buffet array of sauce, little buckets of sauces. And here you have chili oil, you got garlic, you have chilies. So I made you a sauce with sesame, peppercorn, oil. So yeah, you could combine. So what we do is, okay, so ingredients go into we go in here. the broth yeah. first. And then okay. you could dip what you want in the sauce. And oh. then you can enjoy the noodles in the broth. Okay. At the afterwards, you dip. Yeah. Oh, okay, dip, okay. okay. And you've we given me a this? spicy one, because I'm Korean, so I was asking if you had So you chow. got the mala spicy broth. Yes. And you, in the sauce, it is the sesame oil, cilantro, garlic. Nice. Touch. Oh my gosh, okay. Eva. Really? All right, yes. all right, I'm going in, I'm going I'm in. Going. Obviously okay. for you, I took out the chilies. I can't handle any spice. I remember. Mm. I had my Filipino card revoked I at remember. birth. <laughs> so, um, but in any case, um, this is, I mean, it's delicious. I mean, we all have different ingredients, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. This is amazing. Everyone has different ingredients. Obviously, yours pescetarian and mm -hmm. vegetables. Both of you had beef mm -hmm. and shrimp. Mm -hmm. Now, when I picture hot pots, I see everyone sitting around a table, but you say you actually do this standing up. During the cooking part, it's important to stand up. The whole table stand up. Number one, you don't want to get your sleeves messy, you know? Uh -huh. It's easier to reach. 
even with longer chopsticks. Mm -hmm. But when it's time to sit down, it's when everyone's done cooking and everyone's sitting down, doing the slurping, doing the drinking. Gotcha. Are there any other rules for preparing and eating hot pot that we should be aware of, like in, in terms of this process and step by step? So it, I would call it etiquette. Hot mm -hmm. pot etiquette, number one, do not mix your utensils for cooking and for eating because you don't want to cross-contaminate raw. Oh, That's oh. why usually there's a designated person who cooks. Number two, do not hoard the pot. Please pick what you put in. Have you ever watched The Social? <laughs> I was like, we're starving we all those time. rules. Yeah. <laughs> Number three, um, make sure you don't put a lot of ingredients all at once because it takes a long time to cook it all. You don't want to be that person. Okay. Oh, okay. And you've also brought a drink that yes. you can have with your hot pot meal. Yes, so it's known as a sour plum tonic. Okay. Oh. A what? Sour, sour plum, plum tonic. tonic. It's, it's, it's non-alcoholic. It's, non um, it's kind of like cranberry juice, but what it does, it releases an oh, enzyme nice. that helps you digest. Oh, it's incredibly nice. tart, uh -huh. um, but we drink it so that we can eat more. <laughs> and do you drink it throughout the entire meal and then after? Before, during, a lot after. A lot after, just to cleanse out the system. Yeah, you feel a lot better. <laughs> it, it does remind me of cranberry juice. Yeah. A little sweeter. Yeah, yeah it's, this is delicious. Mm. All right. Is hot pot something that you typically make at home or is it mostly eaten at restaurants? So, you know, like in Hong Kong, when mm. I was growing up, if you go, during the wintertime, you go out, everyone offers hot pot. Mm. And if you don't want to do dishes, if you want to have beautiful ingredients cut without having to sweat about it, go out to eat. If you are willing to put in that practice at home mm -hmm. with close friends, I really suggest doing hot pot at home. It's really a nice party to host, a hot pot party. I would come to that party. Yes, right? Delicious. Are you gonna have us over soon? Cause like, this is what, <laughs> I don't trust myself to do this, but this is phenomenal tasting. Thank you. Yeah. Um, Eva, thank you as always. You just blow us away. Thank you. Thank delicious, you. delicious. Thank you. Thanks for having me. I hope everyone eats more hot pot. You know, of all the episodes is my favorite. Oh, oh, I love that. Yeah. It's lovely. Okay, well now that we have lunch, thank you. <laughs> hey there, what did you think? Drop your comments below and join the conversation. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you can find more on everything from food and fashion to pop culture and current events. See you soon.